the second video in this series, we're going to be adding the SQL database and adding the tables that we need. I've produced two versions of this video. Uh, this is the short version where we will be creating the database manually and then adding a, using a, then use a SQL script to add the tables. In the longer version, we will add the database manually, but also add all the tables manually. Let's have a look at the SQL. Start SQL Management Studio. and connect to the server. If Object Explorer isn't visible, go to View and then select Object Explorer. Click on the plus sign next to the databases and we'll see our existing databases. Uh, we want to add a new one, so right click on Databases, Add New Database, and we're going to call it Purchase Orders. accept all the other defaults and click OK. Make sure that purchase orders is highlighted and click New Query. Uh, we're going to be posting into here uh, a SQL script from the Blazor Code website. So select a browser and go to https colon slash slash blazercode.uk slash purchase orders slash database. I'll put the, uh, the link in the description and scroll down and we'll find the SQL script that we need for adding the tables. Um, so it's, I think there are five tables. We've got the purchase order header. These are the, the fields or columns with their types and whether they're allowing to be nulls or not nulls. Uh, the uh, primary key is on the PO header ID. Similarly, we've got the PO line and with the PO line ID is the primary key. Uh, the product, very similar. Supplier, very similar and the tax, very similar. Uh, the sections at the bottom altering the table is effectively just putting in defaults uh, where we're having some things like uh, integers but not allowing nulls. And at the very foot here, we're adding the uh, foreign keys. Uh, so all that's done with this script. So just select copy go back to the SQL database, paste it in the query. We may as well parse it and then execute it. So that should have created the tables. Let's have a look. And perhaps I need to refresh it. Yes, and there are the tables, PO header, PO line, product, supplier, and tax. We don't need this script, so we can close that without saving. And that's it. We've now created the database table, tables that we need. Uh, we can now move on to the Visual Studio uh, part of the project. Thank you.